In chapter one, we talked about the essential duties of a security officer, which are to protect clients, properties, and businesses by observing, deterring, and reporting any incident to the police. In this chapter, we'll cover the day-to-day -day procedures and protocols that you need to follow to do your job correctly. Remember how we stress the importance of dependability? When we are dependable, we build trust with our clients. We also build trust with each other at ACS. Say you are to relieve a security officer, but you are an hour late for your shift. That officer cannot leave until you arrive. Now, what if he or she has to pick up a child at school or needs to clock in at another job? Your late arrival would affect everyone. Working together and supporting one another and doing our job to the best of our ability are part of the ACS etiquette. Let's go over the day-to-day -day procedures. Security officers receive their schedules the day before their assigned shifts. Now, your supervisor and the dispatch team will give you your post orders, which will include all instructions for your location, a contact list, and emergency numbers. You must carefully read and follow these instructions. If you have any questions, just contact your supervisor. When you arrive at your job site, call the dispatch hotline at 877-GUARD-24 or 877-482-7324. Our office tracks arrivals and departures of all security officers. Now to clock in and out, you need to call dispatch upon arriving, when taking breaks, and when departing at the end of your shift. Now remember that being on time means that you are at your workstation at the beginning of your shift. Traffic is never an excuse for being late unless there's an unexpected road or weather emergency. Make sure you check traffic on your GPS and give yourself plenty of time to commute to your location. If you're guarding a property or business that has round the clock security, then you'll need to relieve the previous officer or stay until the reliever arrives. Never leave your post until the reliever has arrived. Clients hire 24 hour security for good reasons. A property or business should never be left unattended. If a burglary takes place or a fire erupts while no guard is on duty, ACS would be held responsible. If the reliever guard is late, you will get compensated for overtime. As a security officer, it is your duty to clearly communicate any unexpected changes or emergencies that affect your ability to show up on time or show up at all. If you are late for your shift, you must call the dispatch hotline ASAP and before your shift begins so that the scheduling manager can cover the call off. You must also call the dispatch hotline if you are A, absent, B, leaving early, or C, staying late. For day shifts, contact the dispatch hotline first and also your supervisor no later than three hours prior to your scheduled shift. For night shifts, contact the dispatch hotline first and your supervisor no later than four hours prior to your scheduled shift. We understand that from time to time, a security officer will arrive late for reasons beyond their control. They may not show up at all due to an illness or even a family emergency. Our dispatch team appreciates good communication to adjust schedules quickly and cover all shifts. Be sure to record all important ACS numbers in your mobile phone and have them on speed dial in case of emergencies. These include the dispatch hotline number, your supervisor's mobile number, the main ACS office number, and the operation manager's number. At the end of your shift, when making the rounds of the property, you may find lost items on the premises, a like phone, a wallet, cash, jewelry. You can either return the items directly to the client or drop them off at the ACS Lost and Found. If the client isn't available, call the dispatch hotline to notify ACS that you have found these items. You'll also need to include details about these items when reporting on SilverTrack. As a security officer, reporting what you observe is one of your most important duties. And for this reason, you must always be alert and on the lookout for anything suspicious in your environment. When clients hire ACS security officers, they expect an hourly report 
or a summary of what took place during the security officer's shift. To report, you will need to download the Silver Track app to your smartphone. And then once that's downloaded, Dispatch will give you your login and activate your account. Silver Track is our main reporting system. It will enable you to A, report incidents, B, update your daily activity reports, and C, include photos and audio files when necessary. The information that you report on SilverTrack is GPS tracked, and it's available in real time on the issue monitor at the office. SilverTrack will also generate a daily activity report that will be sent to the client at the end of your shift. If SilverTrack is down or not available, first contact dispatch to report the issue and see if you can troubleshoot the problem. If not, dispatch will inform you to fill out a paper report. Your supervisor will pick up all completed reports from the site at the end of your shift. Now, ACS will provide a notepad to take detailed notes as you make your rounds. If silver track is down and no paper report is available, use your notepad to record your observations. To report major issues that involve crime or safety, you must fill out the incident report form. And if you're assigned to a fire watch post, you must fill out the fire watch log. Write neatly and legibly with proper spelling and locations and names. Be sure to report on the job accidents, injuries, or illnesses on the same day that they occurred. If you have a valid driver's license, you may be assigned to conduct drive-through security patrols in a marked ACS vehicle. Vehicle patrols are used for larger and more complex outdoor locations like commercial properties or large private properties. As a vehicle patrol security officer, you will cover assigned routes to deter property loss or vandalism after business hours and to prevent trespassing. When driving an ACS vehicle, you must follow our company's regulations. So here's a few key points. Always drive safely and obey traffic regulations. You will be responsible for traffic citations and parking violations. Notify the operations manager if you receive a citation. Now, if you have an accident while driving an ACS vehicle, immediately report the accident and any damage to the vehicle to the operations manager. If the car breaks down, contact the operations manager who will need to approve the repairs. And also be sure to check the vehicle before you use it. You're responsible for any damage when you return the car. Always park the vehicle in a safe and legal area off public ways. Keep in mind that you can never drive any passengers without the written permission of ACS. You also cannot drive an ACS vehicle for your personal use unless approved by ACS. And finally, it is your responsibility to keep the vehicle smoke-free and clean. Arriving at your site in a dirty car makes a bad impression. And keep your receipts. ACS will reimburse all cleaning fees. And when driving an ACS vehicle, we will give you a gas credit card. If you lose your card, contact the operations manager to prevent fraud. The credit card can only be used for official ACS business and never for your personal use. If you want to get paid, then you'll need to fill out and submit your timesheet on time. Keeping track of your work hours is your responsibility. And by the way, time worked refers only to the time actually spent performing work-related duties between the time that you clock in and the time that you clock out. Now, here are a few pointers regarding your timesheet. It should include your 30-minute lunch break and two 10-minute breaks. That's the law. Make sure you accurately record the time you begin and end your work and the beginning and ending time of your meal period and breaks. If you exceptionally need to leave for personal reasons, you will need to also record the beginning and ending time of any split shift. Never work off the clock. Do not clock in before your scheduled shift begins or clock out after your shift ends without contacting dispatch. So now in the event that you forget to record the start time and end time of your shift, you can correct it later and initial the change. 
but always sign your time record at the end of the pay period. You can get a copy of the pay period schedule from HR. Be sure to submit the completed time record on time by emailing timesheet at accesscontrolsecurity.com or by faxing it to 818-349-0069. Your timesheet and pay rate are your own personal business. They should not be discussed with anyone other than HR or your supervisor. We have covered a lot of ground in this chapter. So let's just take a couple of minutes to recap before you take the quiz. One, your supervisor and the dispatch team will give you your post orders, which will include instructions for your location, a contact list, and emergency numbers. Now you'll find these on Silvertrack and a hard copy will also be available at the job site. Two, you must always clock in when you begin your shift and clock out when you leave. And to do that, you call the dispatch hotline at 877-482-7324. You must also clock in and out during your meal period and breaks. Three, be sure to call the dispatch hotline if you're late, absent, leaving early, or staying late. Four, when your shift ends, submit your hourly or daily report using the Silver Track app or by filling out the daily activity report form if the app is not responding. Five, remember to report any silver track issues to dispatch. Six, when driving a company patrol vehicle, always follow ACS regulations. And finally, seven, if you wanna get paid, fill out your timesheet properly and turn it in on time. You've completed chapter two. Now click the button below and take the quiz.